This question kind of, again, leads me to think about verbs and singulars and plurals. The trouble here is that not every verb and not every tense has to deal with this issue of singular versus plural. So choice A is singular. Has is a singular verb. Um, choice C is also singular in most cases, right? Doubles, the, the, it, it doubles every hour, right? We could say something like that. Um, the other two though, B and D, those can go either way. Those are kind of what I would say are kind of like both or neither. Because in certain tenses, there is no idea of singular plural, right? We could say um, it had doubled every hour, right? It, singular thing. Or we could say they had doubled every hour, right? Like, well, now that's multiple things. They is plural. So notice the had doubled part doesn't change. And this is just a, a, like a fact about this particular tense. So maybe it has to do with singular plural, but I think at some point we're gonna need to think about the tense and, and the order and you know how this the sentence is built in time. That's usually what the tenses are, are about. So let's just take a look. Um, formed in 1967 to foster political and economic stability within the Asia Pacific region, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations was originally made up of five members, Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. By the end of the 1990s, the organization blank its initial membership. Well, so there's definitely time happening, right? 67 to 1990s. Um, it's singular because it's the organization, so that doesn't eliminate any choices, right? That it could mean that A and C are right because they're singular, but it could also mean B and D are right because for those, singular and plural are gonna sound the same. So the only reason I would have cared about this is if, if we, it was a plural, then I would have had to have been able to get rid of like A and C. But here we're, we're purely about tense. So what's going on? Well, it's definitely not will double, it's not the future. Um, it's also not the, the present, right? It, it's not doubles, which is the present tense. Um, because it's, it's the 1990s, it was a long time ago. Um, and has doubled also implies kind of the present. Um, we would say, um, you know, the membership has doubled since 1967, implying that today the membership has doubled. And if we go from 67 to today, then we can use that word has because it's kind of ongoing. But the 1990s is the past as well. So we need to use B here, that it had doubled uh, because the past is, the, the 1967 is the past, but 1990s are also the past. And so it's, it's something that had gone on for a while, but that has also ended as well. So that's the difference between A and B. A is kind of something that's gone on, that maybe started in the past, it continued for a while, and is still continuing today, Whereas choice B is it started in the past and it continued for a while, but then at some point it ended, or at least the way we're talking about it ended. And so that is why that is the right answer here. Those are very difficult things, even for people who are native English speakers. A lot of times when we, we choose the tense, we just kind of say it. We don't think about it, it's kind of automatic. So um, it can be difficult when a question like this forces us to do it. Hopefully though, I just gave you some insight without getting into all the grammatical terms that are associated with these different words. I I don't think you need to memorize all the grammar words about these tenses and different parts of speech. Try to keep it as intuitive as possible. Just try to think about it as you use the words and, and your everyday experience with them rather than kind of clutter your brain with a lot of uh, vocabulary. I think it's just not helpful.